In Open Dental, when sending claims, from time to time you might get an error message that pops up that states cannot send claim until missing data is fixed. I'm going to show you three examples and how to correct them. The first example is here on my patient, Zena. I'm going to go ahead and select the items I want in my claim, click New Claim, and whether you're trying to send it right away by using the send button or if you say OK to batch it and send it later. If I say OK, I get my error message. This one is regarding the billing provider SSN and TIN must be a nine digit number. The billing provider NPI must be 10 digits and the practice zip code must contain nine digits. I don't want to say OK to this error message because it will create the claim with the errors still in place. So I want to click Cancel and cancel out of my claim so that I can fix my errors. To fix the billing provider information, I'm going to go up to the top toolbar where it says Lists, down to Providers, double click on the provider for this patient. The first part of the error was regarding the billing provider SSN or TIN and that it must be a nine digit number. That is located right here. You'll want to verify that it's entered correctly and make the corrections as needed. In this case, I have one digit too many, so I'm going to go ahead and re remove the incorrect number and move on to the next error, which was regarding the billing provider's NPI number. That is located right here. Again, you'll want to verify that you've entered the number correctly and make adjustments as needed. Once I've made those corrections, I can go ahead and say OK to this window and close this one and move on to the next part of the error, which was the practice zip code and that it must contain nine digits. If I go up to the top toolbar where it says Setup and down to Practice, the zip code is located right here. In Open Dental, you do not need the dash. You can simply add the missing part of the zip code and say OK. Now that I've corrected the errors, I can go back to my patient, create the claim, and batch it for later. The next error you might get, I'm going to go to my next patient, which is James. I'm going to select the procedure that needs to be billed create my claim, and I'm going to batch this one for later. On this one, I get the error message indicating that procedure D2750 must indicate prosthesis, initial, or replacement. Again, I'm going to cancel and cancel my claim. I'm going to double click on the procedure, and I need to enter a prosthesis date right here. If it's initial, you'll want to mark initial. If it's a replacement crown, bridge, denture, or RPD, you'll want to select replacement, enter the original date, and if it's an estimated original date, you'll want to make sure that this checkbox is checked for is estimated. In this case, it's initial, so I'm going to go ahead and mark initial and say OK. I'll go back to the procedure and create my claim and batch it for later. The last example I'm going to show you is going to be on patient summer. I'm going to go ahead and select my procedures, click new claim. In this case, I'm not going to batch it for later, but I'm going to go ahead and try to send this one right away. So I'm going to click the send button. And on this error, I get an authentication failure that I need to verify my login and ID and password by visiting Setup, Family Insurance, Clearinghouses, then Claim Connect. I'm going to go ahead and say OK to that. It's created my claim. If I go up to where it told me, which was Setup, Family Insurance, Clearinghouses, double click on Claim Connect, and I can see that my password is actually missing. If I enter my password, which in Open Dental it is case sensitive compared to the uh, Claim Connect by Dental Exchange website, you'll want to make sure that if you have any uppercase letters or symbols of any kind, you'll want to make sure it's exactly how it should be. 
in Open Dental, since it is case sensitive, and say OK. Close. And this claim has a waiting to send status, but if I were to double click back into it and click send, I would have no issues sending my claim now that I have corrected my password in Open Dental. If you receive other cannot send claim until missing data errors, please feel free to give us a call at 503-363-5432 and we'll be more than happy to assist you in correcting those errors.